What's up, guys? I'm Addie with ID8 TV, and I'm here with Franklin Webb. He is a writer for a book. Tell me about your book. Tell me the title of it and what inspired you. Okay, then. My book title is called Crosses and Silver Bullets. It's a series of books right now. The first title is called Crosses and Silver Bullets, A Love Story, while the second one is Love and Loss. The story is about a vampire and a werewolf that fall in love. Female werewolf, male vampire. As you can tell from right here, or I should say right there, <laughs> um, there's very few stories about a female werewolf in the lead, fewer stories about a vampire in color. Um, right now, right now, I'm working on the third, the third book is finished, I'm just looking for an illustrator right now, and that book should be coming out hopefully by the end of the year. Uh, what, one, what will that be called? That would be called Crosses and Silver Bullets, Love and Conflict. <laughs> Yeah. So much drama and love. Am I, are you my right? Yes, because a female, because a uh, werewolf vampire relationship is very complicated. And the best part is, it's an ancient enemies, forbidden love story, but no shiny vampires. <laughs> okay, so now, are there any personal stories in there that you've had that you put in there? I just try to illustrate what will happen if two people fall in love and they were from two different worlds. So it gets from right there from the beginning it just right there from the beginning it's not about them but the second book does become more about them the first book is the build-up of how they kind of like each other but things are just like there's too much drama happening right there and then the second book just focuses on the drama of them and how some people are just not going to be very happy about their relationship mostly because they're she's a werewolf he's a vampire the the traditional historical shakespeare Romeo and Juliet, conflict of two different families and the two lovers trying to come together and they can't. So in the book, what brings them together? What is their chemistry? What, what's the chemistry between them? How they got together is because there's a third group of a, a religious uh, zealot group that's dedicated to destroying anything supernatural. I call them the lore as their nicknames are for folklore. And this, fac and this uh, faction of um, religious from, um, they're called Quins short for the Inquisition. The Inquisition is still going on, but now it's in secret, and now they just hunt down anything supernatural because it's an abomination. So they need to work together to save themselves and to save their kind from, from this group. Join forces. It's always good. That's, that's how you can eat, like in, in, in real life, in IRL. It's always fun to hate someone together, right? Like, you know, you could... A common enemy. Yes. And somewhere where they were fighting each other, they... They uh, meet because in the beginning of the book, which I don't want to give two away, one saves the other, and that's and they're wondering why did this happen? Right. <laughs> we need to fight, join together, and fight this third person, this third party. Okay, so I have one more question for you. If you could elect any superhero, comic book or in the films, who would you like to be president? Oh man, I just jumped in my head. I, I, I got a few, but. I don't know, because I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to go with Black Panther. <laughs> I just saw that, and it was so good. But I'm just wondering what would Deadpool would be like as president. <laughs> what, what would be? Deadpool would be like as president, but... I can't even tell you how many people want Deadpool to be president. It's cr because of Chimichangas. I haven't seen the film, but so I have to... But I know that, but then you think Charles Xavier. I know I wouldn't want Magneto, because honestly... <laughs> Somebody actually said Magneto, I think for vice president, maybe. I can't remember. But. Oh, no, then uh, someone's going to be assassinated right there. It was Cyclops for president and Magneto for his, his running mate. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe Kitty Pride. But I didn't sell, then there's Emma Frost. But I mean, like, uh, uh, Emma Frost, how she treated the Hellions. I don't even know how she's going to treat the country. So I would say, like, uh, Prince Chichala for uh, because I think he, cause he's educated, he's smart, he's coming, and I think. And in the end, if there's a war, he's ready to kick ass. <laughs> I like it. I like you. Thank you so much, Mr. Webb. This was awesome.